I want to show you a fast method to install your own MC4 connectors on wires. These are very popular watertight connections and you would do this so that you could save money on your next project. If you're making extension cables, you can get them the right length that you want. You do not have to buy extra. Or if you buy equipment that just has bare wire on the end and you want your own connector on there, like on this watt meter, you can install them yourself. In order to do this fast, we're going to need some tools and parts. I'll have all these linked below in the video description. The very first tool is an MC4 crimper. This is going to make your life a lot easier. This usually comes in a kit or you can get it by itself. The second thing you're going to need are the MC4 parts themselves. In here you have the plastic male and female ends with the gaskets in there. And then you also get your metal tips. Now typically this will come with a kit as well. There's only a certain number of them. So sometimes you might need to buy some extras. Thirdly, you're going to want these plastic MC4 MC4 tools. These also typically come in a crimper kit as well. The fourth thing is this wire stripper. This is a really neat tool because in one motion it can strip off all the insulation at the exact spot that you want it. You can use a utility knife, but having one of these will make it go a lot faster. And finally, I'm going to be using pliers. There's nothing particularly special about these pliers, but you'll see how I use them and I'll make the job go faster. So here I have laid out all of the parts in an MC4 connection. On the ends you have threaded caps. Next you have cable glands and gaskets. Those are these orange things. And the point of these is that when this cap is tightened on to the main body, it's going to put pressure on the outside of the insulation of the wire to keep moisture and liquid from coming in this direction. Now at the connection itself, on the male end, there is a rubber gasket right here, and that's gonna help prevent the moisture and water when these two are connected together. Next, you have the metal tips themselves, and these are different sizes, and the way that I remember these is that the smaller tip goes with the bigger connector, and then the bigger tip goes with the smaller connector. Now, let me show you my fast method for putting on an MC4 connector. You can see that we're dealing with 12 gauge wire. I'm not sure you can read that printing. I'm actually gonna put the female connector on this side. Typically, when I'm stripping the wire, for this, I'm gonna take off about one and a quarter centimeters, so right about there. And because this is 12 gauge wire, I'm gonna look on here, this is the number 12. I'm gonna line that up about where I want it on the 12, and check this out. With this tool, you can just push it once, and it pulls off the insulation. Then we take our tip, it fits right in there, and you want this to go all the way up to the insulation itself. And then you're going to take the pliers and just ever so slightly pinch down these flanges. And what that's going to do is when you get your crimper, this thing is not going to fall off. Typically it falls off and you're not having a, uh, another person help you. So what you want to do now is get your crimper, do that, see how it's lined up, and just pull this until it clicks. And then what you have is that put these two flanges, pinch them down into the metal wire itself. Next, we're gonna put on these parts. You put the cap on first, and then the cable gland with the fins faced this direction, and then the main body will go on. I don't know if you can see it right here. There's little metal uh, fins on the end here. That's going to click into here, so you'll know that you have it right when you push this all the way in and you hear a click. So after you've pressed that down and you get the click, what you're going to do is take the cable gland and push it inside of the main body and then you're going to screw this on like this until you get some tension and then what you're going to do is use these tools this one's going to go here and then this part right here is going to go here and you're going to turn it until you get it nice and tight where that little plastic starts to uh, lose its grip on the end, and there you go. You have a nice, tight, waterproof MC4 connector on this red wire. So that was an example of some thinner wire with thinner insulation. What I have here is PV wire. PV wire has very thick insulation, and you want it that way because it's outdoors in the elements it might be rubbing against and asphalt shingles. You want it to, the wire to be protected as much as possible. So on my wire stripper, I'm going to use the number 10. This is 10 gauge wire at the top. I'm gonna line it up. To where I want it. So if you can see there, and now I just do that, it pops right off. And look at that beauty. And then for a cable like this, because it has lots of strands, you may want to twist the end, then take your tip and put it on there, and then repeat that whole process. 
Let me know if you have any more questions about putting on MC4 connectors or anything solar related down below. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. And if you like solar related content like I do, you might want to check out this video over here.